feel that breeze? I do. It's nice. Soak it in. Don't Ocean worry about breeze. Work. Come on. What the fuck was that, dude? Get a look at this hamburger right here. That's how you know you're working with a high-end golf course. Get a look at these buns. These are serious buns. Whoever bought these buns wanted these buns to smack and smack hard. 65% of a good hamburger is a good bun. Isn't most of it the burger? I think we're about to have a real good back nine. Let's go dancing. Back nine, Bob, you heard about him. Yesterday, I shot 77, I felt so good. Today, it's like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde out there. I gotta tell you what, on another note, Sun Chips do not get the credit they deserve. It's a good chip. They're all right. I hit that so good, but it rolled in the bunker. Yeah, gotta get creative now. We gotta get creative. Angus is down the pipe, let's go. Any luck, Rob? Not looking good, I'll tell you that much. Oh, is this it? That's a great eye, Mason. Wow! All right, not terrible. All right, okay. Look, we gotta leave it all out there today. We got no other choice. Give it everything we got. Balls to the wall. Let's be the one today. Having some trouble just getting the putter out, and that's never a good sign. What a disaster of a bag. Here we go. I got a par. Do you have a shot here? You can get this tight, you can save par. Come on. Not the best, but not the worst. Right in the middle, which is right where I live. Big momentum shot here. Oh, get going, get going, get going. Gonna we gotta make putt. a putt. Yeah, you gotta, we gotta make a putt. putt. All right, come on, All right. Bobby. This is the time now. It's gonna make go left to right a little bit. Okay. And it's slightly uphill, so give it a little gas. <sighs> oh, we're gonna give it gas. Imagine you're in first gear, Robbie. Just ride it on up. You don't wanna switch to second or it'll blow right off the green. Yeah, it's Sergeant Hines in the house. Come on. He got it! No, we oh. did not! Son of a gun. Okay, bogey out of the gate. That's a bogey. I thought you were gonna make that. I did too. I wanted to get excited. Back nines and fireball. Rip them early, rip them often. Feel the fire. Feel the fire. Oh, jeez. not want to be in that bunker. That is a nightmare. That's one beach you don't want to see. Thing looks like Vimy Ridge. These guys are slow as hell. At this rate, we're not going to finish. No. Because I'll be over an hour late for work and it'll be mayhem. Oh, we might be playing a full golf round today. That's a good little piece here, Joseph. It's on the green. Get legs. Okay. Gotta go. Go, 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 go. I think you might be over the bunker. I hope so. Sit! Oh, that's over. Oh, oh no. Well, that's gonna out. work. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I got you in there, Joseph. What a lucky shot. I'll take it. All day long, that's a par. That's two for two for cuts. Now we could be playing some full golf. Whoa, 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 I never said that. We are not finishing by two o'clock. There is no chance. It doesn't get much better than that, Joseph. You can call Randy and tell him I'm gonna be 45 minutes late. We're gonna have to really fight to get him to stay a full round. Bob, this is your ball from earlier. That's fucking fantastic. Remember I told you? <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. What a beautiful day it is here. <laughs> from National, there's balls coming left and right. We'll take that, sure he can. Welcome to the golf course. Home of good swings, bad swings. You get a little bit of everything here, Mason. I'm starting to feel alive here, Bob. I'm starting to feel alive. Yeah, the front nine was a fucking horrific disaster. I just wish we could finish. We're going to. No, there's no way. Look at come how here, slow come these here, come guys here, are. Don't worry about that. Just enjoy the golf. I'd Feel like a birdie bird. here. Well, well, give me a par. Oh, oh par! par! I can play that. It's gonna work, believe it or not. Look at this. Look at what he's doing. Get, get the, look at this. He's got a cart right next to him. He's about a mile down that sidewalk. He has no business running for that. 
He has no idea how far it went. Oh boy, watch this. This is gonna be good. Oh, the top of this hill right here. Really gotta get something going here. Three wood wise. This thing's been in the bag all day. And that's usually where it belongs, but desperate times call for desperate measures. It's gonna be A-OK, -okay, Mace. Look at this. Look at this. High and tight, big fella. Uh, that's about as good as I could do, Bob. It's all right. Hang all in right, there, That's my face. third shot. That's not the end of the world, considering I was on the wrong tee box. If you came here today to watch double bogey golf, it's exactly what you're going to get. I won't disappoint. God, I got my exercise on this hole. In order to make this done, I got to play the most unbelievable golf of my life. In order to play the most unbelievable golf of my life, I'm going to have to smack down this transfusion. So it's exactly what I'm going to do. Do you believe in Cinderella, Bob? To really start the Cinderella story here, it starts with a fairway. There's no question about that. Whoa, that transfusion's really... <laughs> like I was saying, it all starts with a fairway. Just one, just one fairway's really all it takes. No, no, that's not I'm taking easy. another one. <laughs> and the dream is dead, folks. Oh, the dream has been dead. Mr. Puck needs him in the restaurant shortly, but he's got a fairway to find. That's A-OK, -okay, Josephine. That's on the fairway. Oh, no. All right, Joseph. Oh, oh, no. Oh! It's about time. I think the dream is dead. If I'm being a realist here, I think the dream is dead. OK, Joseph. Oh, nope, that is way over. That's in the ocean. Bob, we're going to have to do a round two here because yeah. we are not showing a very good slate at all. Let's take it tight now, big hammer. Wow. It's not horrific, actually. <sighs> OK. Bobby Bogey strikes again. You heard about him. He's back for more. I mean, I see we play one more hole. OK. All right, so let me give you a breakdown here because we really haven't had a good outing. In the back of my head, I've been worried about work all day. I think it's kind of interrupted our game. That being said, the guys in front of us, they're terrible. I mean, it's hard for us to say that the way that we played, but super slow. He's not gonna break 90. Far from it. I don't know it. what I'm gonna break the way that I'm playing. So we're gonna go one more hole, balls to the wall, give it everything we got, and just let it all hang out. There's a par five, got five shots. Hopefully we can finish with a par. And I, and you know, How about the, we do par better for Bobby to finish on the, a high note? The best part about it is, folks, we will be back. Just keep the drinks stiff. Keep the vibes good. This is what it's all about. Thanks for joining Bob Does Sports. We're here for a good time and a long time. Last one for all the marbles. Yeah, Joe, I got news for you. I got to go to the bathroom. I got to go to the bathroom bad. Jeez. It just creeped up on me fast within seconds. I got to go. What are you going to shoot your pants in the uh, course? Pretty close to it. <laughs> okay. If I lose the ball on the first shot, I'm fucked. Can you believe that? So now I gotta play the whole hole, par five, walking with my clubs. Is that not ridiculous? I mean, Jesus, dude, you gotta have presence of mind. Hold your bowels. Bobby Bowels. That's just a bad look for the brand. This is gonna be a cold cuts hole. From start to finish, good shot after good shot, we are going to par or better this hole. One shot at a time. First shot, let's get on the fairway. This journey starts now. One hole to make amends for the disaster that we've had throughout the whole frickin' round today. All right, that's gonna be fine. Clear those bunkers. First shot, not bad, we are alive. Somebody's got to carry this thing while this guy's shitting his pants. So we had a decent drive here. We're going to try to hit it about 150, 160 yards. I can't see where I'm shooting because we got this giant mound here blocking our view. But I, I played this hole enough that I know exactly where I need to go. I feel pretty confident that we are going to put something together here right now. Second shot. We're going to take a six iron, try to hit about a 180, 190 club up the center. See how that goes. And that's exactly what we did. Mason, that is an absolutely perfect shot. 
Oh, yes, we are in very good shape, Mason. That's the second shot. I'm starting to think that Bob was holding us back because I think I'm going to birdie this hole. So I grab whatever I could, but I don't have a wedge. This is going to make it a little bit more difficult now. I have a nine iron. Normally I'd hit a 60 degree, but we're going to have to compensate here. We're going to just try to bump and run this thing up the hill, try to get it close to the pin, call it a day. I mean, Mason, I mean, Mason, that is not bad. I mean, it could be a little bit closer. Bottom line is we're gonna par this hole. And you know what? We still got a putt. We still got a chance at birdie. Now this would be something special if I could put this in, Mason. This would be a hell of a way to end this. We could somehow make this, make this putt here. We just missed it. We just missed it. But you know what, Mason? That's a par. And you know what? Bobby Fairways, we couldn't make a par all day with this guy. Moral of the story, kids, if you want to show with me, remove him. Cutsy does sports, at least golf. <laughs>